when and how can lockdown measures be safely eased? That's a question every world leader has been grappling with over the past few months. Dubai has emerged from the strictest phase of lockdown after just one month. Having some of the highest per capita levels of testing in the world certainly helped. And despite the privacy concerns that Big Brother is watching, so too did the early adoption of a Bluetooth powered track and trace app. Dubai's response to the pandemic has been innovation led, with autonomous machines becoming the norm. Even at ports where this surveillance boat has no one on board and can be remotely controlled. And here at Dubai's Future Foundation, scientists are developing these ventilators, which they hope could be mass produced simply and cost effectively. In February, March, uh, the whole world had less than 100,000 ventilators. And it was clear that we needed to see how we can help and we thought we could give uh, you know, building a prototype of ventilator a chance. We are aiming to ensure that we produce a ventilator that could be accessible and that has all the features of a fully fledged ventilator. That means you know, give the doctors control that they need uh, when it comes to the volume of air that goes into the patient or the pressure that the patient need. A toddler would need a uh, very different pressure from an adult and the amount of oxygen that uh, they receive uh, from these uh, uh, ventilators. What are your plans for the future? We are right now in the prototyping phase. Uh, we have around four that we are testing currently internally, but uh, in the future we're looking at producing them in the hundreds at least for a stockpile and potentially for anybody who uh, would need it uh, as an export. But that will come after the verification and the standards uh, third-party checks that, that will happen on these devices. From the early stages of lockdown, Dubai deployed disinfecting drones to combat the virus in public spaces. We received a call from Dubai municipality that they want to use the agriculture drone uh, for disinfection. And so we became on board and we had them in the stock. They can just make sure that the, the liquid goes everywhere because of the airflow that the propellers um, are making, because this is how they design to just uh, spread the liquid. The amount of liquid which is coming out from the nozzles are uh, controllable. With the full tank and with the full battery charge can fly between 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, you can cover, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, you can cover an acre in an hour. Meanwhile, homegrown UAE company Guard Sanitization Gate has developed the smart turnstile that can instantly take temperatures, detect face masks, and envelope passersby in a disinfected fog created ultrasonically. For the company's co founder, these represent the new normal. There is a lot of changes happening in our life. You remember before, in all air flights, you can smoke. And the normal, you can smoke. But now they stop. <laughs> it's not allowed. And same what happened now. So the normal thing, tomorrow you will see. I mean, in the, in the next two or three months, you will, you will find out that if they didn't check your temperature, there is some problem in this uh, building or there is some problem in this organization. So as businesses gradually continue to open and people begin to tentatively interact, here in Dubai it's a mix of innovations in the field of medicine, mobile technology and sanitization that are keeping the virus at bay.